What's going on? It's time to talk about an interesting uh, Netflix original film. Uh, this isn't sponsored by them or anything, but yeah. Uh, so I thought it was interesting, and I was going to say my thoughts on it. So yeah, today I'm going to be talking about The Mitchells vs. The Machines. From, uh, like I said, it's a Netflix original, and it's from Sony Animation, which actually just pretty much made a deal with Netflix, where they're going to release a lot of their stuff on there, things like that. Uh, it was released sometime this year, in 2021. I think it was actually like the end of April or something. It was directed by Michael uh, Renaud, who's only done two other films, Gravity Falls and Princess of the Ma uh, Magica Tears. Magical Tears. Yeah. Uh, it had a budget of around $50 million and spiked to $100 million, apparently. But, yeah. So, yeah. This is uh, an interesting... <laughs> little animated film. It's almost two hours long, too, this one. But, uh, The Mitchells vs. the Machines is, well, you introduced to the Mitchells, which is, like, um, a family that doesn't really get along, and they're all a little bit weird in their own ways and stuff. You have the mom that tries to keep everything together, the dad who's, like, uh, interesting in his own way, a little outgoing and stuff like that, but doesn't really get his kids. Uh, you have the 20-year-old daughter who's about to go off to college because she's more into, like, filmmaking and stuff like that. She's a little bit of a loner. And then you have the son who loves dinosaurs and stuff like that and acts a little weird and stuff. So, yeah. Um, and she, but the daughter gets accepted to film school and university, so they decide to, she's gonna go. And then, uh, so, but then the father has this interesting idea of driving her all the way to across the states to where the college is instead of letting her fly on her own <laughs> and then uh yeah so they go on this road trip and then sure enough what happens on the road trip the robot apocalypse happens and robots start taking over this town and uh yeah they end up just by fluke being the only humans left in this town to try to stop the apocalypse and save the town and the world i guess of it and uh of the killer robots now this film was a pretty interesting new refreshing idea to see in an animated film you haven't really seen that it takes a lot of like sci-fi uh films like influences like i robot and stuff and incorporate that with like some a lot of like good humor and everything like everything of that nature into your typical family film of uh basically of a family that's learn has to learn to cope together to work together to overcome the big problems and stuff and to build a better relationship for them and uh yeah it was very interesting and humbling to see that because nowadays if you look at like films like pixar uh or like disney stuff like modern stuff it's cookie cutter it's basic it's um you take your typical uh, damsel in distress, like Cinderella story, and redo it every time, basically. There's nothing really there. It's like, you know what's coming, you know what to expect, and that's that. This, t Sony Pictures, definitely, they definitely had their flaws with films and stuff, animated films, but this one's definitely one of their way better ones. Way more thought was put into this, and, uh, yeah, and it's from the producers into the Spider-Verse and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of good humor in this film. I really loved it. I enjoyed the characters. It's always good. It's a little slow to start up with, but it, once it gets going, it gets going. It's pretty funny, and especially the, like, the reasoning why the robots are taking over. It's ridiculous and cheesy, but uh, it's pretty fun. It's a lot of good family fun. A lot of nostalgia in it. Furby's making an appearance in it, and uh, a lot of... It's just overall really fun. I really enjoyed this film. I don't really have any complaints about it besides it being like a little slow in the beginning. And uh, I actually kind of wanted more even though it's two hours long. And uh, yeah, the nostalgia and the humor, everything was good. So I definitely suggest you guys check this one out. Don't sleep on this one. It's not one of those like terrible Sony animation pictures. This one... Disney needs to start taking notes from, like, Sony Animation soon. Because if they keep making stuff like this, I think they're going to go pretty far. And then Disney will probably buy them out and run them into the grave. But who knows? We'll see how that goes. But as of the, as the mo for the movie, The Mitchells vs. the Machines is an absolute fantastic fun time. Really loved it. 
really enjoyed it. I'm going to give this one a four and a half out of five. I think most people should see it. I'm just going to stop talking about it right now so you can go watch it because you should. Uh, whether you're an adult, you have a family, it's great for the family if you have one. Definitely check it out. It's really good. There's a trailer link down below if you haven't heard of it and you want to check it out. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. I usually post the film title and a hashtag in the video clip, and I also put the subgenre of film in the uh, in the video clip as well. So, in case it's something you're not interested in, you're aware of it. So, make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay in the loop. Comment your opinions of this film down below. I'll try to... Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Did you love it as much as I did? Do you hate it for some reason? I'd love to hear your opinions on it. And also comment what's your favorite Netflix original right now down below as well. I'll try my, because I might find something new to check out too and to talk about. So yeah. Also if you have any other film recommendations that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. I'll try my to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. So yeah. That will all be greatly appreciated. Make sure you like this video. Share it so more people are aware of it and check it out. And, uh, yeah, actually give a lot of love to this great family film, fun adventure film. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe because you never know what I'm going to talk about next. And I have no idea what I'm going to talk about next so far. So, yeah. But definitely check out The Mitchells vs. the Machines. Absolute fantastic movie. So, yeah, with that. I'm off for now, so I guess I'll see you in the next review, and watch out for those killer machines that are always flying around, so cheers.